death of a loved one, betrayal from a spouse, stabbed in the back by a friend or family member, an unfulfilled desire for friendship or romantic companionship. These are just a few causes of why many suffer with loneliness. So what do we do if we're drowning in isolation? Where do we turn to break the chains of this hopelessness? Who can set us free from the prison of loneliness? Loneliness is a real issue for many, and it was an issue at times for many in the Bible like David. Look and see, there is no one at my right hand. No one is concerned for me. I have no refuge. No one cares for my life. This verse describes how many of you feel right now. Sometimes we can be in a crowd, whether it be of strangers or among our family and friends, and still be consumed with being lonely. It's like a poison rotting away at our soul. Unfortunately, it's in our nature to try to fix our own problems, including loneliness. However, without the proper guidance, we usually just make things worse for ourselves. We may turn to social media to fix our loneliness. But even if we have hundreds of friends or followers, it will not fill that void for a deep connection we desperately desire. In fact, it kind of makes our situation even worse when we are relying on the quantity of likes and comments to gauge whether we are accepted by others. Among your online friends, how many really know you and will stick with you closer than a brother? We may turn to destructive behaviors like drugs, alcohol, overeating, not eating at all, all to combat our loneliness. But this only pushes us further down the hole of despair. We may even compromise our beliefs and morals just to fit in or to be accepted. We may go on a dating spree and end up with a lot of superficial relationships. We may become angry and bitter about our circumstances of being alone and start lashing out at others, which in turn just pushes people away and further adds to our lonely predicament. Young or old, rich or poor, regardless of color or nationality, we are all susceptible to the struggle of loneliness. So what do we do? Where do we turn? We need to do what David did. We need to turn to God. I cry to you, Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am in desperate need. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Set me free from my prison, that I may praise your name. Then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. But you may ask, why go to God? I can give you a multitude of reasons, but for now, let me give you just four. Number one, God knew you before you were born. God said in Jeremiah 1, 5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Number two, he cares for you. Peter says in 1 Peter 5, 7, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Number three, he will never fail you. Moses told Joshua in Deuteronomy 31, 8, Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. And number four, only God the Creator can truly heal our loneliness. Psalms 68, 5 and 6. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing. So stop embracing the lies of the enemy that are preventing you from accepting the truth of who God is and his love and plans for you. If you or someone you know are weary, struggling with the excruciating pain of loneliness, please turn to the Lord for comfort and rest and receive the peace and freedom He offers. That means if you are a Bible-believing Christian but have been far from God doing life your way, stop, repent, and turn back to Jesus wholeheartedly. If you are not a Christian, this is the perfect opportunity to turn from the ways you've been living your life that have proven over and over again to not fulfill you and to turn to Jesus and believe in Him as your Savior. Regardless of who you are and where you currently find yourself in this life, know this absolute truth. God loves you and He will never forsake you. He's your only chance to finally be free from the prison of loneliness. Need more encouragement? Check out this video of the times that God has intervened in my life. If you're still skeptical in believing the Bible, check out my playlist of all the reviews from my trip to Israel that reveal the Bible is truth.